A cholesteatoma is a cyst found deep in the ear canal. The cyst is made up of skin cells and that cyst slowly grows over time and it causes damage to the surrounding structures. So there are many causes of a cholesteatoma and the exact cause or the way in which it formed for each patient can normally be found out from a patient's history, the examination findings, and then some scanning. The most common final cause that unites all of these patients is that there is an issue with the way the eardrum is sitting. If it is deformed, then it is more likely to develop a cholesteatoma. In essence, our eardrums are, are made of skin. They are constantly regenerating and renewing every few days and the dying skin cells are shed naturally. When the, skin, when the eardrum itself is distorted, the shedding process of the dead skin or dying skin is slightly made worse, which means that the skin cells end up sitting and staying on the eardrum instead of being shed and falling off. As they collect, they can become a source of infection and they can continue to grow, causing pressure and irritation to all the structures around them. Whilst, the, whilst we look at bigger studies that suggest that there are three main risk factors found for cholesteatoma, each patient must be considered individually. The three commonest underlying risk factors for this are a childhood history of ear, ear problems, ear infections, exposure to passive smoke as a child, and coming from a lower socioeconomic background. Whilst there are many symptoms of a cholesterol, the most common symptom is a discharging ear. That is an ear that leaks smelly or offensive, greeny yellow liquid regularly. This is often first seen as an infection and treated with antibiotic drops. But in patients with a cholesteatoma, the infection either never gets cured or keeps coming back. So for any patient who's having recurring infection with discharge from their ears, it is important that they're examined by an ENT surgeon under a microscope or an endoscope to look for signs of a developing cholesteatoma. So the cholesteatoma is in a very delicate area where there are the mechanisms of hearing, of balance, the nerve that controls the movements of the face on that side, the nerve that gives taste sensation on that side, and the lining of the brain. All of these are at risk from a growing cholesteatoma. And so it must be taken seriously and managed as such. The current best treatment for a cholesteatoma is with surgery. Surgery is done with the patient asleep under a general anesthetic. It involves a cut behind the ear and then drilling away some of the bone to better ex expose the cyst, that is the cholesteatoma. Once all the nooks and crannies where the cyst is hiding are exposed, the, the cyst, the cholesteatoma cyst is removed. Once it has been safely removed and we've done an examination to prove that it has been removed, we reconstruct all of the tissue that was damaged by the cholesteatoma or by the drilling to expose where the cholesteatoma was. The hearing mechanism is frequently damaged by the cholesteatoma as the three tiny bones of hearing have often been melted away by the disease. At the end of the procedure, I use prosthesis to reconstruct the hearing and create a new healthy eardrum for the patient. After the operation is finished, we need, we need to do a scan at around a year's time to confirm that the cholesteatoma is not trying to come back. 